Hello everybody and welcome to a game called Scrumble Ship. This is a diamond in the rough game. I would It's better than Starmade, okay? I'll go we'll start off with that. It, it's like Starmade, but it's better than it. It's much more fleshed out. It's a lot they have a lot more of the features they want to implement in here. They have like a whole they have a whole heat system set up. Which I'll show you when we get over here. So this is the single player. They have a multiplayer, by the way, just saying. It's very empty, though, so I wouldn't expect too much from it. So here we are. This is kind of how you build your first ship. If you have been listening closely, you will have heard uh, some, a guy like breathing heavily. That would be your astronaut. Now, right now, I can't go like this is very early alpha, and I'm also using a. Uh, actually, it's funny. It's strange how this happened, but um, uh, I, I bought the game, and um, the developer of this was kind enough to give me a kind of like one of the features you get with the deluxe, deluxe version which is called Bleeding Edge and mostly it allows people who get the Bleeding Edge which is um, six more dollars you get all the updates like all the all the updates prior to a major release you can get those so you can like talk about it and post your thoughts on it and stuff stuff like that but yes it, it, this is really it's amazing that uh, someone has been able to create a game like this. It's just so fleshed out. And I really like it. And um, I thought, you know what? I think I want to make a game about this. So if you look here, let me get an airlock out. You just All you have to do is you have to press Q. I believe this is the right way. Look at that. Like, even the airlock animation is ready. I mean, yeah, you're kind of... It's not exactly... Oh my gosh, I didn't notice that before, but... Here. See, look. It tells you when it's pressurized on either side. And obviously, you don't have air implemented yet. However, you do have heat implemented. I don't know if I can just find... Gun locker, that's what I need. And click, uh... Mm -hmm. and we take one of those and I believe it's Ah, here we are. Look. Isn't that cool? Not really much happening. I don't know why, but... Usually what should be happening... Uh, what was it? Oh yeah, I scroll and I can turn the power up. Boom! Which... The huge crater right here. And, um... Each block is consisted of... How many voxels was it? 16 vo voxels. Let's see. Um, it's comprised of 16 voxels. So really, even though it's a cube like this, I mean, look at this huge damage. Even though it's a cube like this, in reality, it's 16 different voxels that are being shredded at once. So we, he's able to make a huge amount of detail. I mean, I can't. You can't get this detail in Starmate. This is this is beautiful. Look at this. Like, if you look in here, every, there are like so many different voxels. All the lamp, that same space. I mean, this is a 16 by 16 by 16 block. And each one of those uh, 16 voxels is being represented in the universe, so. Okay, let me see here. Graphics, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. 
I guess maybe he doesn't have the heat in here. I thought he did, but maybe not. However, it you know it doesn't really take away from the game because there's no real use for heat yet. But let's go through some of the stuff you can get here, and you you know uh, we can get glass. Oops, wrong button. Oops, that's wrong button. I can you know get glass and what else is there? Um, I, he has the blocks you need to, uh, create a fully functioning ship. I'll show you guys that in a sec. I can't remember what it was. Ah, it's number five. And if I hit number, like, uh, I'm controlling... Here. Oh, yeah, I can't show that. But if you look in the bottom left corner, I believe, yeah, bottom left corner... You can see there are different, um, uh, how to, like, what's moving right now, once I go to, let me hit number four here, like, that, the laser is four, three is a question mark, like, so, if I mouse over something, it'll show me what it is, two is the build block, one is to, uh, get rid of stuff, and five is uh, to get the grid, get rid of stuff and build at the same time. And what you can do with that is if you right click it destroys, if you left click it, it places. But that also resets, so if I do that, I mean, you know, you have slopes, you have all sorts of things you can use in here. Medium plate, slope corners, thin clear, you, yeah, like supports you can use. I mean, I'm just the level of detail put in this game, and this is, mind you, this is very early alpha. Hmm, interesting. I didn't, I didn't realize that before, but okay. You know, it's just uh, the level of detail he's been able to put in this game. How there are frame rate issues, I will give it that. Well, for my computer, at least my computer is not the most bestest thing in the world. You know, there. For later on, there are electrical wires and ooh, look at that! Did you see that? Interesting. I didn't realize that before. Interesting. I did not realize that before, but um, apparently, these connect as sockets. Hmm. So if you try and connect something electrical to the electrical lines, so let's say we go to a, a terminal, and we go to the captain terminal. This isn't actually working yet. Yeah, you know, it doesn't work yet because you can't fly stuff. However, when it does... Interesting. I hadn't realized that before. I wonder how these work. You know, a lot of this stuff is very alpha. I don't, I don't get it all. I'll have to look it up on, you know, on the interwebs and stuff. So you don't just you, you don't just have um, uh, airlock doors. You also have blast doors, which look like this. And please note that you are equivalent to one of these voxels. That's cool. You know, you can keep different tabs open at once, so if... I want to try and put this air... uh... this thing in. This, uh, blast door. Just so I can show it off, really. I'm just having some issues here. Maybe if I... go back to plating, I place down a block right there-ish.
Once it's closed, it's closed apparently. That's cool. So it's almost like a you cannot get through here once this is closed kind of thing. That's nice. Okay, what else do we have? We have a hangar door. What is that? What do you look like? Not much, really. I guess those, like those, you will need a motor for that or something. And what's the diaphragm look like? Oh, that's for the uh, organic ships. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. You can have organic ships on this. Like, watch. <laughs> oh, the child in me likes that so much. What do we have for propulsion? You know, you have a rocket. Nice that he has the effects in here. So you boom. What does the small rocket look like? Yeah, it does look smaller. And you have a solar sail, which is an interesting concept. If you guys I don't know, I don't know if anyone will remember this. But um in uh well, oh my gosh, it was one of the Star Wars movies. Which was which movies? Which one was it? Yeah, here's a here. Um, what was it called? Clone Wars, I think it was Star Wars Re Attack, uh, Attack of the Clones. I think I can't remember. Star Wars Episode Two, I think it was, where uh, you know, you had the evil guy and he had his flying ship that worked on solar sails. It was a long time ago. I can't remember it. Here we have, you have all the different, uh, organic things, I mean, oh, that's cool, look. <laughs> you know, you have, you can make, ooh, that's nice, they even have the marrow in there. Very nice, oh, look at that. And, you know, I'm just, I'm really hopeful that he's able to finish this game. He had to stall development for a while be due to, uh, problems. You know, but he is back on track, and I'm really hoping that he's able to finish this game because this, this would be a beautiful game. Once he, you know, once he fix things, this would be a beautiful game. Can still can't open that. You know, I, I know this may get a little tiring for some of you, but just the level of detail that he's put into the, this game, it just astonishes me. You know, I just... I haven't seen so, so much detail. <laughs> That's cool. Little door. Um, let's get some flesh out. Okay, it's like the building block. What's the heart? That must be like the... Now, what's interesting about this one... Oh, that's cool. We'll keep that going. So we have a suit locker. You have a hold. Can't use that yet. Can't use the suit locker yet. Um, a small locker. That's cool. Huh. Yeah, we're really small, I guess. So, I, I didn't need to make it so big. Uh, we have weapons. None of these can be used yet. Yeah, I have a missile, shoot. Well, if we ever say go out here. So, mostly that's uh, for the missiles, they kind of fire out of there, I think. And that's how they have that. <laughs> this is a real gun, which, oh my gosh. Just the fact that they have real guns in this is amazing. You have a sensor dish here. Some weak lasers, but in my opinion, any weak laser is great. There's a missile shoot again. Chemical kinetic, what? Oh, that must be like a rocket. Ammo cache. Very explosive, should be put on the front of your ship at all times. Active radar. 
black. Get the thing that's to ward off, you know, bad things. And here we go with some of the, uh, you know, he wants to add a factory system to this game, if I recall. I got some, you know, f oh, that's nice. Actually, a first day in there. Uh, you have grinder. Doesn't do much. I'm gonna look down here. Yeah, the breacher, I guess, would be to, if you attach it to someone's hole, it'll go through. At some point, and this is to, I guess, pump heat into your, you know, your space is a cold place. Hmm, that's cool. Hmm, that's cool. And a radiator, which is to mostly expel any heat there may be. So I believe, if I were to say, uh, materials and I've got a metal. Now is to get some say copper. Yeah. Go number four. Oops, that didn't work. If I were to say I think this is how we demonstrate it. Get some uh iron. Where's iron there? Oops. Oops. Nope, that's not working. I can't remember how he showed it, but he should. Or is it conductors? I think maybe a conductor. Let me look. Oops. Go back to five. Yeah. I don't know. He did something and it showed off the heat system. It was really cool. I'll make a link to the description. Radioactive. Yeah, uranium. Now, why would you? Why would you want stone in your ship? I cannot tell you. Tree. Oh my gosh! Look at all the trees. Let's see. Let's plant one. That's interesting how he does that. <laughs> interesting design for the for the leaves. I'll give him that much. Okay, let's go back here and finish up. Okay, so here's the factory, which will be in place for later, and here's the foundry. So I'm guessing you would make stuff with that one. And then you would complete the process with this guy. Engineer, we have a connector. Hmm. So I'm guessing that this would be linked to, the, say, the foundry and the constructor. So you would take melted stuff from the foundry and would go to the constructor, and that's how it would be used. Let's close those two. Ooh, magnetics. A magnetic cannon. Well, boom! I'm guessing that, that's what, yeah. Oh, and a magnetic railgun. Cool. Honestly, all these are still uh, in development. Oh, that's cool. I wonder if this will be a feature at some point. Wait a second. Oh, that's cool. Haha, <laughs> that's cool. I'll go up into our cloud here. Oh, I guess that does make sense, because, uh... This is kind of cool to fly around the ship. This is really cool, actually. Now, uh, my, my, I'm not able to control it sometimes because my mouse will go off screen, but, you know, that happens. Ah, this is what I was thinking of earlier. If we go in here... We can actually place plants in this ship. <laughs> Oops, not like that. Nope, not like that either. There we go. Oh, not what I wanted. That's really cool, actually. Just to make your own little forest in here. That's really cool. So yeah, I have hope for this game. I, some people have become s skeptical, you know, there's been no development as of late, but 
I'm thinking that, uh, I think he'll be able to pull this off. If he's able to pull it off, oh my gosh, this will be amazing. Even if he's not, I hope that if he, like, for some reason can't complete it, he'll be able to release this source code to, uh, us. So, uh, <laughs> and this off, let's uh, make a bunch of voxels. This is what a space battle will be like, just a bunch of exploding particles as you fly around the ship. Oh, I'm out of power. Oopsies. Speaking of which, I need to show you guys this, so, um, oh my gosh. Yeah, but that's how, uh, that's how they're able to, uh, keep it so down, as if you go far enough away, it all becomes blocks and the details gone, which is a great idea, if you ask me. Where's life support? There it is. Uh, suit refill. Oops. No, didn't want to destroy that. I needed that, actually. So if I do that, then my suits refill completely. Now let's just look at the destruction I caused my ship for my, <laughs> my uh, bullet rampage. Oh, but I... I I don't think I can get express to you guys just how amazed I am at what he, what this one guy has done. It's, it's developed by one guy. I don't know if I mentioned that. But this is developed by one guy. And it's just... It blows me away. It really does. Pew. Bones being blown about. You know, God. Oh my god. There will be no ship when I'm finished. A little bit of lag, probably because I just really shit ton of bullets. Yeah, there we go. A little laggy, you know. Just give it a second, let all the voxels fade away. But just, uh, if just, I'm happy with this game. You know, this is StarMate. I would, I was accepting of, but I wasn't really impressed as much with it as I am with this game. This game impresses me. Star made it quelled it like it satisfied me, you know, it it didn't uh made me happy. But this game this game just has so much potential. And I wanted to realize this potential. The only way that can happen is if you guys donate. So this is kind of a please donate for this game, but also I'm showing you I mean, look at this. This is amazing. Now I don't know what's in the uh, regular version, be ver like the regular version of this game because I don't have it but um you know just yeah I don't, there's not much else to say but um go check the game out it is twelve dollars for the regular version but it does not have bleeding edge which is uh, like you know you get all the updates as they come in kind of thing you know say it works or it doesn't work while uh the regular version it just it has the main releases which are also nice it, you know it Pick your poison, kind of. Not in a bad way. But, yes. Yeah. I think I've done my duty here. So, this has been Liberty0522. And I'm signing off, guys. See you guys later.